Hi, my name is Joe with a Coin Telegraph interview from a very rainy WEF in Davos. <laughs> I'm here with Nas Daily, who is increasingly becoming a crypto YouTuber. Can I say that, Nas? No, I am not a crypto YouTuber. <laughs> we just make videos. That's it. <laughs> okay. I mean, how many crypto videos have you done in the past, say, six months relative to your normal content? <laughs> so, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Big fan of Coin Telegraph. Uh, 5% of our videos are about crypto. 95% are not about crypto. Wow. Okay. Okay, I've done the math and it's not a crypto channel. <laughs> Can confirm. Um, what, what inspired your initial interest in crypto? Was it Bitcoin first? How did it go? Yeah, look, you know, we're not, I'm not an entertainer. We're not entertainers. We're not, you know, like vloggers, right? We tell stories about things that matter. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to escape a revolution that's happening in the world. Therefore, we must talk about it. And that's why I had to force crypto down the throat of anybody that follows Nas Daily because this is what I'm thinking about. This is what occupies my mind. And therefore, I should try to educate my audience mm -hmm. about it as well. And we do it in many ways, mm -hmm. through content, through classes, through Nas Academy, through Nas Daily, whatever it is, uh, I think it's really important. Yeah, for sure. And through debates as well. You had an interesting Bitcoin gold debate. Yes. <laughs> The light bulbs are going off, it's great. Um, I mean, you also are personally invested in Bitcoin. I, if I remember rightly, you put half a mil into Bitcoin recently. How's that going? Uh, now it's 300,000. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a great, as you said, this is a great test of conviction. Um, even if it goes down to zero, I think, I, it, I, I do believe there needs to be a way to capture value on the internet, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's like Luna, whatever the hell it is. There needs to be a way to capture and own things on the internet. And I'm taking a bet that Bitcoin is once in a generation thing. Okay, absolutely. Of course, yeah, the, some of the core values of your channel is conviction, inspiration. To, to what extent has Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency movement behind it, to what extent has that inspired you? You know, uh, I didn't realize how much of a problem the internet was up until I understood uh, crypto, right? I didn't realize that oh, wait a minute, having a million views for a video and making $1 from those million views and contributing to, uh, uh, to other company stock value, mm -hmm. and you're not capturing any of that value. So um, I think crypto has opened up my mind into the problems that exist today and how we can collectively fix them tomorrow. That's why I'm excited. Really interesting stuff. I mean, how, f how has the audience or your audience reacted so far to you as you say, throwing crypto content down their throats. <laughs> you know, the audience is in a journey with you, right? The audience follows you. They don't follow travel content. They don't follow whatever, right? So I, the period of my life, I was a traveler. Another period now, I want to be more of, a, of an intellect, intellectual, right? I want to be able to talk about ideas, things. I want to build a company. And so the audience must come on this journey with me. And some may leave, new people will come. And that's completely fine, but you cannot just do the same goddamn thing for 20 years and expect, uh, uh, expect growth. Growth happens when you evolve. Interesting. Okay. So, of course, cryptocurrency is a new audience, and you're here at the WEF in Switzerland, a very unlikely place for a cryptocurrency media company and for a YouTuber, you know, who's a former traveler to be here. Are you maybe looking for Klaus Schwab to be part of your audience? Uh, I'm power hungry. Okay. You know, I, I'm, so I, I aspire to have more power because with more power comes more great things you can do. Mm -hmm. And everybody here at the WEF has some sort of power okay. in their company, in, their, in the world, in their country. And so these are influential people. The true influencers are here. They're not on your Instagram newsfeed. That's for damn sure. Wow. I mean, yeah, you've got that right. Absolutely. So you're the intellectual, power-hungry you know, educating YouTuber. Is that a fair summation of events? That with 500, sorry, 300K in Bitcoin, but you're a hodler. Any advice or any tips for people that are approaching this bear, mar bear market, sorry, with this global economic backdrop, which is increasingly problematic, what would you suggest to these people? Yeah, I, uh, uh, you know what Warren Buffett said, right? Even though I, I assume your audience does not like Warren Buffett. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, be greedy, uh, be scared when others are greedy, mm -hmm. greedy when others are scared. Okay. Everybody's scared. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's time to be greedy. Okay. 
Okay. So if you have any, you know, anything you've wanted to build, do, invest in, whatever, everything now comes at a flash sale. It's, I'm greedy today and for the next 12 months. Nice. So are you buying more Bitcoin? Uh, I think I bought three more Bitcoins yesterday, uh, what, last week. I think I'm good for Bitcoin right now, <laughs> um, but we're building technology, right? We're yeah. building uh, 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 products for creators and for crypto creators, mm -hmm. and, and we're hiring engineers, and, and we're building communities for crypto and education for crypto. So uh, we are so excited. Great. Man. Are you excited? Does it not look like it? Sorry, I am very <laughs> excited. I feel like it's impossible to match your energy levels, man. It's just <laughs> up here. It's, it's so impressive. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience? Um, anything on behalf of the WEF, you know, your new family? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would just say, um, I think everybody in the world should uh, do two things. Understand how computers work, then understand how crypto works, like the tech behind it. Uh, the only way to truly believe in this uh, new industry is to know how the hell a blockchain works and to code your own token. Literally try to code your own token and then you'll truly understand that math is powerful. Mm -hmm. And the reason everybody's excited about crypto is because of math. Uh, so once you understand that, you, uh, I think you'll, you'll, just, you'll just be as excited as I am. Absolutely, and it's contagious, honestly. I'm yeah. feeling it just standing here. So is there a NAS token? No. No, no, there will not be a NAS token anytime soon. There will not be an NFT anytime soon. Okay. Um, uh, we're still in the education phase. So we create a lot of courses and classes in NAS Academy on, on, on crypto, right? So nasacademy.com slash crypto. Uh, we're primarily focused on that. Um, I think a token is a lifelong investment. Mm -hmm. So am I willing to commit my entire life and reputation on a token right now? No. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anybody should start a token willy nilly. Mm -hmm. You know, this is people's money and livelihood that you're playing with. So we're careful with this. This is not the time. Okay, very, I think that's a very good safe note to, to finish on. Thank you so much, Naz. This has been a Cointelegraph interview.